Hi there and welcome. You're here with Bella Katrina. We're going to a, do a blessing of water. So we're just calling in the Holy Spirit. We know everything's vibration. We know that words have hold vibration. So you can write the word love. Love water on your water bottle. Jesus, if you've met Jesus. But the word love, Jesus is the most powerful word you can use, Jesus Christ. And also love has a vibration. So putting that word in your love corner and just writing it, you can do a lot prettier than what I have done to show you. So this has come up as a water blessing for Libra. It's especially for Libra, but um, you can tell your friends about it so that they can use it too. We're going to do a blessing of this water, so get a cup, get a water. Divine, most powerful, most gracious Father, I command in your name that you bless this water. May you heal me completely, mind, body, heart and spirit. I ask that this water be empowered with an energy so great and so magical that it miraculously heals every level of my being helping me also to cut ties with the past and release me from anything and anyone that is stopping me from moving forward and upward into a more joyful, satisfying and healthy lifestyle. May this water be the most divine, sacred and blessed water that has ever existed on this planet and on this earth plane and may it have a miraculous influence on our life in general. I accept that I am being healed on all levels and that I deserve this healing. I ask this in the name of my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I humbly thank you, Father. Amen. Cheers. Here's to Libra, health and happiness. Drink it while we do the reading. Love you, Libra. Hi, Libra. Time has come. I've been preparing for your channeled messages and reading here. You're with Bella Katrina. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't joined me before, I have added in... Um, Buddha fell off. Buddha. Um, a blessing for water. So we're going to drink that. Cheers. I want you to know that it's very powerful when you speak. So be careful because we think a thought first and then we speak it. So cheers. Here's cheers. If you haven't done the ward thing, please do so. Now I have been sending healing to the collective oh, to the collective of a Libra. We've got unconditional love flowing through and they're showing when you get stiletto heel focus and you get out of the matrix. So when I say get out of the matrix, what I mean is that you can see deceit. You understand it's on all levels and it's been with us forever. If you can't see the deceits around you, you either have cognitive dissonance or you're not waking up yet. So... My intention here is to make you feel safe here and wake up, <laughs> to wake up because I am filled with the Holy Spirit and when you read the Bible and you have the Holy Spirit within you, it makes different meanings. It never made sense before my baptism only about eight months ago. So we're doing it in the new Abrahamic covenant of Christ. This is where he's pouring his heart out. So I asked about Libra and I got just open the Bible. So I did so as I have a little King James version I bought online. And I got this. I'm going to read it to you. I just would like you to know what's happening. Okay. So that you can really try and make it your utmost priority to get out of the matrix because Libra you're under attack because you've got the stiletto heel focus in the brain the mental capacity to change the vibration of the planet so take it as a compliment that you're under attack because of your power it's because you're a threat to the dark side and simply laugh at the matrix once you release it and it's your, I open to Joel 2.28 and it says promised outpouring of the spirit. I was like, wow. 
And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and young men will see visions. Also upon the servants and upon the handmaid I shall pour my spirit. And I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, fire and pillars of darkness and smoke. Sorry, just pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Joel 2, 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. He's calling his remnant. So that's why it's vicious attack by the dark side because of the outpouring of God's spirit on his children. You're his child. It's your right to receive his love. And the way that the devil tricks you is in the mind, the matrix. So please find out what that is because we are also experiencing... Um, our reality changing as when CERN was opened, um, a parallel universe was made up and now has converged and it's changing the way that we perceive our own reality. So you need to look into that yourself. But I mean, I would say wake up to the 13 bloodlines, the new world order and how you're a slave and you're under satanic law. That's why Jesus came. Why would he have to come? Why would all light workers have to come if it wasn't so dark? That's what we're calling the great awakening. And we are, ex are saying to Libra, we are, Jesus is saying to Libra, right? I mean, I've taken four days just on Libra to get ready to prepare because of the grief you had to transmute, right? That's getting you prepared for what's to come. You think that it's just going to make you stronger and more powerful. So we're going to thank the dark side for setting up those circumstances to allow you to increase your power. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. It's a message from Jesus. For Libra, nothing will be impossible. Now, if you really believed that, you would think different thoughts through the day. So that was um, Matthew seventeen twenty. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. So when I talk about parallel realities converging, it's called the Mandela effect. So maybe um, noticing that I found it in the logo of the VW car. Spun me out. But I laughed, right? Because the devil is, spins me out, but it upsets me. And I cry for the suffering of the children and the movement and everything, right? Of what they do. It's satanic children abuse right it's rampant on this planet that's why we're here so we're breaking that so nothing is impossible to god of course god can change our reality it's with our perception because of free will so what's happening is the great awakenings occurring revelations are going on the codes the outpouring of god's spirit so of course the devil is going to intervene and create chemtrails right to discombobulate you and I hate to say it's working so if you're not getting it now it's just going to get worse and worse because the Mandela effect is is scary unless you're out of the matrix and then it's funny it's like oh, go Lucifer try anything to bring you down so the romance angels are here for Libra that's very exciting we're doing a little um, letter to the guardian angels of your twin flame or soul mate we're looking for love love is all around you've got unconditional love osho here you've got the crystals love crystals and look love birds came out for libra so i love you libra i'm looking after you and i thank you for your comments and um just know that i respect you and i would never bring you something of somebody else's opinion right i'm bringing you soul truths of mine and i'm sharing them with you and i have um been awakening for about 18 months now so it's not my first you know experience I've proven the system so when I say Donald Trump is a good guy you need to wake up and if you feel like that goes against your truth you're in a mind control program I have to tell you I just have to tell you the truth right because if you don't get it now when the Antichrist comes in and performs miracles you're going to be going so 100% there because you're actually under MK ultra mind control through the TV and the iPhone right now 
So we want to bring in love and the angels are going to do that by bringing you in a romantic partnership for love, a lover, dear guardian angels of my soulmate or twin flame. Thank you for preparing my twin flame or soulmate and me for love. I'm going to include a little message at the end of these for Twin Flames in Libra as well. For giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us to recognise each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. I just love the Romance Angels. So nothing is impossible. Right, we have to get a new perspective on that because there's going to be amazing wonders that you're going to see from God and also the Antichrist has powers. So he's going to deceive you, which he already has done. So it's really urgent that you wake up to the deceit because if I wasn't awake to the deceit, the Mandela effect would actually trip me out. Do you know what I mean? That's why so many people are tripping out. So the Mandela effect is when something that you've remembered is different in your reality to what you remembered it. So it's funny. Ha ha ha. Right? Like there are a few examples like our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, who remembers it like that? I promise you, you go to any Bible that you have in your home right now, and it will say, forgive our debtors, not trespasses. Let me know what you think. The Volvo logo is a classic because I was born in the 70s. So I know the Vo Volvo logo, how it's got the W and the V and there's no space in between. But no, now there's a space in between. The Bernstein bears are spelt differently. The um, line in Forrest Gump where he says, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That is simply not true now. It's life was like a box of chocolates. The, as in every movie that you watch, it'll be different. So I'm not telling it to scare you. I think it's funny because <laughs> I think if you aren't already on the edge, right, whoever's on the edge, Lucifer's going to push you over. That's why we've been trying to wake you up, get really grounded, get out of the matrix and bring in love. And this is a message from the Talking to Heaven cards because there are three heavens I found out. First heaven, second heaven, third heaven is the holy of holies. So we've been together in dreams. You're together with your soulmate in dreams. You may even go to this beautiful place, the lavender farm, look. So heaven's really beautiful. And I have been visiting there, I know I have, in my spirit realm. When you worship and you pray, your spirit goes there. Isn't that amazing? Because I've been asking, can I go there? And Jesus is saying, you're going there. When you sing to me, when we worship and when you pray, part of your spirit goes to heaven. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And then it fortifies you back down here. It's the most powerful things you can do. But you do need to be um, baptized in the Holy Spirit. Well, this doesn't sort of work as well. As a soul, I can be in several places at once. See, we're multi-dimensional beings. So together in your dreams with your beloved. So maybe asking Archangel Michael to help you remember your dreams. Very beautiful reading so far. So how are you going? Is it the best three weeks you've ever had in your entire life? Things are changing. I notice a lot of you who are going, working towards being... Um, masters of the light and bringing in that intelligent energy reiki life force into your body you are helping change everybody and i take my hat off to those of you who are working with me in my program because we need more of you to lighten up this reiki is needed here in the 3d right to unplug from the matrix to clear out your energetic field to let go of pain and resentment from your heart and shame once you're released from shame, it's euphoric because it's built into the way we were, you know, this whole, um, even what we learnt at school, it's actually programmed. So creativity, Libra, here we go. Your creativity is at an all-time high. What you think about, you can create. So please focus, 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 focus on um, positivity and those affirmations that I'm also um, happy to share with you. They came up for you. So put those, um, I'll put those 
at the end and you can replay them if you like them put a comment and I'll make a separate video of maybe those and the blessing so we're looking at what's coming up for Libra we know there's romance we know you're, you're learning that you're multi-dimensional and you're learning that you know in your dream time you do go and um, visit your soulmate you meet in your dreams so sometimes you can be more tired when you wake up than when you went to sleep don't worry that's your life purpose that's why you're here. So here we go. There's the relationship bliss coming in for love. Now, this is also just being happy within yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like not even even if you're not with somebody or don't have a partner at this time. This is you enjoying life and being very creative, using the gifts that God give, gave you and getting closer to him. I do it through nature, I find. Oh, look at you. Okay, so leaving the past behind, leaving anything that no longer serves you behind, well done. The strength and the fortification that you have, this actually turns up in endurance and perseverance for you. So this is strengthening your heart. This is the strength card. This is like tempering within. And um, I got a message from the angels, great stoicism is called for. And I was like, what does that mean? And I looked it up and it means non-expression of feelings and no complaint i was like oh stoic right sometimes you've got to be stoic and this is one of those times for you so well done this is saying keep up the courage you're doing really well you just never had any encouragement you know we go through life and sometimes we have critical parents and then critical teachers and maybe we get bullied by our siblings or maybe we get less than um, functional relationships as we repeat the dynamic between our parents but this is saying now it's time to encourage yourself going I'm just a child of God and I'm very very loved that that's who I am and it's here I'm here just to make myself happy so look at the outcome Libra because of your strength right the timing hasn't been quite right and you have been impatient however you've been forced to go within this is the hermit in the cave getting to know thyself connecting to your soul right because you're in different places and bringing your awareness back to this reality to right here right now because underneath you have a fear of success but you also crave it, right? So releasing fears or my fears of success are and then just writing them down and releasing them. And well done because here comes a new surge of energy, right? It hasn't been the right timing. This card shows me that you've put up with less than satisfactory realities, let's face it. But this is the time for you. It's coming in. And this is about internal politics, right? Not worrying about what other people think of me. It's none of my business what other people think of me. Ego, internal politics, right? Worrying about what other people think. Who cares what other people think? Because that's been ruling your world and that's the ego. Most people will care about what somebody else thinks and how they feel. And this is changing. As you change, this is going to confront you because, you know, you're awakening to a new you. So following your new dreams, right? Creating new dreams. And look, here's your loved one beside you all the way. If they haven't appeared in 3D yet, get as happy as you can because this is very magnetic. Like you're happy anyway which means health. What can you do to add some, you know, something healthy in your day, like your diet or exercise, just something like going for a walk, eating a piece of fruit, drinking more water, right? Easy. That's health. Then wealth. You could say, well, I'm going to set a goal that I'm out of debt or I am saved up to buy this or that my income is constantly increasing. I prosper wherever I turn, right? So making an effort to not spend on, you know, on your credit card or debt or non-necessities. And then you've got full self-expression, your creativity here that needs to be tapped into because what I've seen from Librans, you have the most amazing way to communicate your ideas to people and get them on board in a way that they want to take it forward. It's just that I've had, I have a lot of Libran male friends and they just think, oh yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just open that shop in Manly and do that and then an idea comes and you think gosh that's the tiniest shop you've ever seen in your entire life and yet it's only to sell one or two things you know then there's another shop he opened this Libran guy and he was um, very successful now because one's just coffee one's just sushi one's just this and he just shared what he likes he likes coffee and sushi and kayaking <laughs> anyway it's funny because I took this guy to my um, year 10 formal 
I do see him all the time. It's like he haunts me. <laughs> and um, now married with children and he's created his life out of nothing. And another Libra male friend of mine who was awake before I was telling me about the chemtrails. I mean, awake. So you guys are pretty on fire. It takes a lot to to screw you over, so to speak, but mentally here, you know, you're going to see it and you're going to care less about these people that care less about you. As an aura of creativity surrounds you, life's universal force fills your soul and seeks expression through you. Will you be a channel for the divine light to flow through you? So that's what I was saying about my other Libra and friend. He went, oh, I'm just going to go this and change countries and went and designed something and markets it through China. It was just, we were just having a coffee about it, chitter-chatting. And then he created it. It's like, okay, then you live overseas now. Bye. <laughs> and done his own business and everything and it's taken off. It's like, how did he do that? It's the ability to communicate ideas and then to follow up and hold that vibration like a stiletto heel focus. So this is you, Libra. I've never seen anything like a Libra. And I mainly see it in males. So Libra and feminine energy needs to get that focus because otherwise we take into account everything around us as females. Do you know what I mean? But you need to get in and go, okay, what's the most basic things that make me happy? That I, so here it's saying you need sleep where it's dark no lights no noise really quiet and peaceful where you sleep and dark no bright colors in the bedroom no mirrors facing you and no stuffed toys looking at you or your children while they sleep will you be a channel for the divine light to flow through you if the answer is yes then open your heart and let go of self-judgment and doubt let the colors of your soul flow through you let the music of your soul be heard sing your divine song Dance your divine dance. Express every feeling and emotion and allow yourself to shine. Be one with your soul, your true eternal self. Dream the divine dream and love unconditionally. So care less about what people think, but keep your feelings to yourself. And that stoicism is different. It's about keep not sharing your creativity until you've planted the seed and you can see it growing. So you're manifesting. So knowing when to share and when to keep the scrub turkeys out. Because friends are like elevators. They either take you up or down, but they don't leave you where you are. I love you. I'm so excited about this awesome energy change. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. And just know that um, you're creating miracles because of who you are and God loves you because that's who you are. You're his child and he's bringing you blessings and love. So know that you're looked after. Your timing is now. Get the strength and courage and encourage yourself with those affirmations every day and wait till your life will transform in front of your eyes. I love you. Connect with me soon. I do offer um, activations in Reiki to an integration therapy and also psychic shabams where we tune into your spiritual team. I look forward to connecting with more of you there. But just know you're making a difference just by making yourself happy today. You help change the whole vibration of planet Earth. And we need to shine, shine, shine really, really bright. I love you. Thanks for watching. Happy May. I'll be back around the full moon. Bye for now. Here we are, as promised, a message for the twin flames of a Libra. We're going to tune in to Archangel Michael. Just going to ask for a message for twin flames from Archangel Michael. Self-respect. Just saying this out loud after me, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me, through the eyes of love. Thank you for honouring and respecting me. Please guide me and my twin flame to do the same for ourselves and grant us the courage to speak up on our own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships, including one with my twin flame, so that I can surround myself with loving and kind people while in union. Thank you, Archangel Michael. We have one from Jesus. He's saying, pick the top one. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. That was the one from Libra. From And we're going to have this one. Unto you, it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. I think that's where we go and visit him in heaven. 
So if you haven't already, ask for your um, baptism in your shabam with me. I will give it to anybody willing who books anything with me. I love you. Thanks for connecting. Do your twin flame Reiki as soon as possible. This is your time to shine and union is imminent. I love you, Libra. Thanks for watching. So let's just know some things for ourselves right now. That you are a wonderful creative child of God and very loved. You have a guardian angel with you and you're not alone. Everybody is assigned a guardian from birth. Know that you are part of the creator. You need to connect to prime creator, to God, your father in heaven. To open our mind to receive, we need to affirm often, God prospers me now, all that is mine by divine right comes to me under grace in perfect ways, and I am receiving now, I am receiving all that I need, I am receiving all that is mine by divine right. Avalanches of abundance descend upon me now. I open to receive easily and effortlessly. I now live and work in the ideal environment, great location, earning good money with people that I love and that love me in an atmosphere of harmony and ease. light, bright and airy and has peace and serenity and nature where all feel welcome and supported. I work on meaningful, wonderful projects that use all my skills and abilities. They are successful and I complete them with ease and grace. I have wonderful, like-minded, supportive friendships and I am in love with my beloved. I live in an atmosphere of harmony and ease and all that I need flows to me effortlessly. I just have to open to receiving. I now receive all the money that I need under grace in perfect ways. I ask Father God to help me open to receive his abundance. And I give thanks and gratitude for all that I have received to date. Dear Father God, help me open to your love, to your health, your abundance. Help me raise my vibration so that I may live in another timeline that has freedom, bliss, joy, happiness and unconditional love. I ask for your support, your guidance. Please fortify me, strengthen me and open me to the abundance by clearing all my past timelines of grief and betrayal and turning that into endurance and perseverance for joy to be for all. I experience joy and bliss now knowing that I have cleared the path, that I am the change I seek and all glory be God, my Father, my eternal Father in heaven. I open to receiving his blessings and gifts of joy and abundance, knowing I am safe and comfortable with this. I now open my heart to love on a level I have never experienced before, knowing I am safe and comfortable with this. Nothing's too good to be true. 
nothing's too wonderful to happen and nothing is too amazing to last. Thank you, Father God, for strengthening me, fortifying me and for activating my light body so that I may ascend to the kingdom and bring light and unconditional love to help this process. Activate it within me now. Divine love is doing its perfect work in me and through me now. And God, it prospers me now. I love you, God. Help me open to receiving more of your love.